The intriguing name and strange appearance made them one of the most popular toys of their time. It was quickly discovered that this toy was, in fact, a lethal weapon which injured many children. This toy is known to cause black eyes, nosebleeds, and even broken bones. One girl in particular knocked herself out whilst trying to throw her toy at her friend. It was a parent's worst nightmare fueled by the tale about the hazardous glass toy known as Clackers. It transpired during the 1970s that the organization responsible for creating the dangerous Clackers toy was aware of its risks but chose to sell it anyway. A pleasant account of Clackers may be hard to find, but that didn't stop this new toy to be the talk of the town. A once popular toy of two glass orbs connected by a cord is now banned in over four countries. This trendy item circulated through the late 60s to early 70s and seemed to be everywhere at the time. I'm sure if you ask your parents, they will have a story to share about these dangerous toys, and maybe you owned a Clackers toy, and if you did, how are your scars? It all began in 1968, when a company designed a toy that filled every young child's dream to make as much noise as possible. Clackers were an obnoxiously loud toy. They consisted of two glass balls attached to each side of a rope. Clackers were made to be banged together. It was the 60s after all, and people just wanted to make something to entertain children for as long as possible. Little did the world know at the time, but the Clackers toy wouldn't just be used as a toy. It became a dangerous weapon that would bruise, cut, and even hospitalize kids. Before the product was even released, the people who created the Clackers toy were quickly made aware that the glass toy wasn't safe for adults, let alone children. After many disastrous test runs of adults trying out this toy, despite the shattering glass and injuries caused, the company decided to sell the few glass Clackers they had already made. This was a big mistake. Each time the glass balls banged together, they would shatter, sending shards of glass in every direction. This was obviously dangerous, and the company needed to come up with something safer. Their solution was to replace the colorful glass balls with a mix of red, orange, and green plastic balls instead. This new design later proved much more dangerous than the glass. The original glass clackers toy was more durable than the plastic version. The glass would chip and smash, but the plastic clackers toy seemed to explode. Kids would be playing with their new toy and suddenly their clackers would shatter, sending pieces of plastic flying. The plastic was weak, but getting hit by the pieces felt like being cut by razors. Even though this toy was badly produced and extremely dangerous, it was sold worldwide. Soon after Clackers were released, they became the new craze. The toy was featured in many children's adverts. Everyone wanted this new toy and they quickly sold out. Children all around the world wanted to see what this noisy new toy was all about. Clackers, also known as click clacks, knockers, curbangers, and clankers were everywhere. Children would take them to school and play with them in the park, even use them just to annoy their parents. Each time the clackers toy would break, the kids would simply ask their parents to buy new ones. According to many advertisements that featured the toy, the clackers help children to improve their hand-eye coordination, giving rise to the often infuriating noise of clacking. By February 12, 1971, just three years after the release of the Clackers toy, four separate and serious injuries were reported. As a result, the FDA had to issue a nationwide warning about the dangers that may occur after purchasing the Clackers. The Clackers toy was banned in schools all around the world. Some kids tried to hide their clackers in their pockets, but after the toy was banned, they had no use for it. Of course, the children who managed to hide their clackers toy successfully still played with it, but after a while, the children who were caught playing with their clackers would often get in trouble. 
Teachers, police officers, and parents began taking the clackers from anyone who was seen with it. The clackers toy was fun, but it wasn't worth getting in trouble for. As a result, a lot of children would hide their clackers in a keepsafe box, and as each new trendy toy was made, the clackers were eventually forgotten about. The manufacturers who made the clackers later announced they ran tests on the toy from a multitude of stores worldwide to determine whether or not the clackers toy was safe. I don't know what took them so long, but it was no surprise when the verdict came back as unsafe. Despite its short life on the shelves and even shorter time in the hands of children, the clackers toy was permanently banned. It's unknown where all of the confiscated clacker toys ended up, but somewhere out there is a huge collection of deadly clackers waiting to be used again.